What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player in the game of risk global domination. I have a daily release on YouTube. I'm streaming on Twitch almost as often. Um, doing a daily schedule for the winter. If you are interested in getting better at the game of risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me for today's episode. We are playing. Uh, one of the new maps, general processing unit. It looks like I'm first act. So the first question I'm going to want to ask myself is do these maps lend themselves to being ones where people take bonuses? This is my first look at the map. We have a three for four in the middle that looks very attractive. I think that's where we start. It just seems like too obvious to start and not snag. And let's see if anyone tries to interrupt me. Okay, we're doing, uh, my, uh, my regular progressive settings for the new maps. We're going to be doing world domination progressive on general processing unit, auto setup, 60 second turn, expert bot. And we start with two automated bots. Nothing fancy, no fog portals, alliances, or blizzard. I'm in the first position. In the second position, we have Lindsay Shibata flying the flag of the United Kingdom playing as orange. In the third position, we have an expert AI. In the fourth position, we have Pico Strez from the United States of America playing as red. In position five, we have an expert AI playing as white. So green and white are the bots. In the final position, we have Johnson Twist 29 from France playing as purple. Uh, and I, the reason it uh, looks like we have bots here is uh, I started with uh, two players of the same flag enter my lobby right away, and I kicked one of them, replaced, replaced them with a bot at the last second, and wouldn't you know it, the other one didn't ready up. So likely um, collab potentially was avoided. Um, that's how I recommend you guys all do the same. If you are worried about getting collabed on, which really shouldn't be our problem to worry about. So here's how the bonuses work. On GPU, you have display ports on the uh, left hand side, worth plus four with three kill guards off of a single territory. You have V core plus four, you have V core inductor plus four, you have parallel link is a two for two, V core capacitors plus three, interface is another two for two, uh, VRAM modules plus five, VRAM VRM plus three, power delivery is a four for two, and PWM plane. The bottom right is a plus four if you can hold it. Okay, so. Greenbot on my border with that two for two. Upside of having the center position is you have a really strong safeguard. Downside is you're kind of, you, you allow yourself to be surrounded. You guys know I don't, uh, don't recommend taking bonuses in progressive. It just looks like this is the way the cookies crumbled for me. We're in a four-player game. Myself, orange, purple, and red. We're going to see where purple goes on their first turn. Both bots are attacking fairly aggressively. Okay. I have occupation on the bottom right, occupation on the top left. Purple goes for the bad neighbor. Purple goes for the bad neighbor break. Okay. Purple goes for the bad neighbor break. Do I win a 5v2? If I do. Yeah, that's all right. Well, I would expect purple to break that as well. They remain bad neighbor to me. Interesting play. Because there are still two other opponents in this game and two bots and i like how they put their stack on the bot border because we might see green bot get greedy and roll that's six yeah orange also putting themselves in the middle of this green bot probably not where you want to be you about guess plus five i would just love to see seven v six Okay, we have some material from red. Ah, okay. I'm sitting in the middle of the board with a five stack. Okay, okay. 
Red player starts with plus two, but most of their material is on the left, is on the right hand side. I'm happy to do these uh, new maps as a first look for you guys because I'm figuring it all out on the fly and that's fun. We get to see how the pathing all works together. They look kind of confusing, but I figure it's like any other risk map. You get the hang of it after a while. What's red going to Red's going to concentrate all their forces in that position. Purple's going to break me up here. Would be my best guess. Once you start breaking a player, why wouldn't you just keep going? Ah, uh, Whitepot finishes this bonus, I think. No. Takes and breaks the other bot. All right. Purple in three positions, 26 troops. Yeah, breaks me like I expected them to. Okay. So, I kind of need to keep this position active. Would be my best way to do that. We have two fives and two threes. We're sitting at 20 troops in the first position. Nothing left for purple to pick on. So if they decide to continue to pick on me, that's more their prerogative than uh, any sort of real um, strategic rationale. Figure we see orange take here. Orange had even less troops than me. Yeah, they're lining themselves up for this bonus. This is what, an eight for five or something? Points their stack the other way. Okay, we see green fail to break. Then succeed. Bots fighting bots in the middle. And retakes his, his two for two in the bottom. Okay. My game feels a little fragile. Red just keeps working on their corner. Now what I think I see, I think we do see purple hit my three. So they take their two for two for themselves. White takes this. Okay, white and green being in a war with each other, actually ideal. Don't think I can open up an additional position. I lose my three now. Purple continues to pick on me. Yeah, wow. Rolls a 5v3 instead, though. Huh. All right. I mean, I'm going to set first anyways, right? Look at these dice. I lose. Yeah. So I, I remove them from the bottom right pocket. I'm going to lose this three now, so I have two positions. Maybe I lose the five. I don't think I come back from this. It was kind of a Hail Mary play to stop this guy from killing me. But not with those rolls. A bot cuts across the bottom. <laughs> well, that's it for me. I'm almost certainly dead. 
but these are the best games when you're kind of on the ropes. Red has held a bonus hall game. All right, white sets in with an 11. Let's point it up that way. I think I lose my three to the bot, maybe. Purple now breaks the bot. Get a card off that three. And I have a Joker. All right. If I can survive to trade again. Two positions, we've got an eight in the middle. We've got a five in the bottom right. Guarded by a lot of material of my opponents. I'm gonna lose my top left. Orange decides that he would like that plus five, but slowly. All right, Greenbot sets and gets the eight. I'm gonna lose this single here, red. That's what I would predict red does. Still has a really strong four in the other corner. Red's probably gonna win by the looks of things. Yeah, saw that one coming. Bots continue fighting bots. All right, Purple's hanging out in their corner. What do you do to a player who picks on you all game? Well, you put them in a single position. So I happen to have a Joker. So Purple's in a single place. If I survive to trade again, I'm not dead. I have a five and a seven. Very, very weak. Who can kill me? I think red can. I don't think a one, two, that way. Yeah. They come off the five and then they go through the two. It's possible red kills me. Red gets the 12. I'm sitting with the Joker. I can have a 20. Wouldn't shock me if red killed me before I get to trade again. Do I have a line into purple? Because that would just be too sweet. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Double split? No, nah, not yet. Not yet. I'm going to have to maintain two positions really strong and definitely set again and get, get the 20. Maybe line up the kill on green? Orange wastes their entire clock not playing. Do they break? Break the four. Uh, that saves me from the red kill. Okay, so red's gonna set get the uh, get the twelve. 
which means purple gets the 15. Red also has access across the top. Maybe red kills purple. That's possible. For five cards? No, he doesn't see it. Off the five. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then two splits. Or you use the four. These two splits make it tough. All right, rolls a four of three uh, of green player. Okay, green down to 21. Well, at least I have that lucky set I get to stay alive. Let's see if purple pokes red or orange. Everyone seems lined up to kill purple now, which is lovely. That's part of why you put someone who's antagonizing you into a single position. Because it makes them easier to die in progressive. All right, white bot hits him. No? White bot takes a second bonus and hits him. Beautiful. Choke on that, sir. All right, so he's going to put in 15. He's going to have 30 troops. It'll be about equal. Very fragile game for me. Setsin gets the 15. Okay, removes white from the pocket. Doesn't break the pot. Huh. Okay, so I'm gonna split evenly. Line myself up for kill on white. When and if, and I get another Joker. The luck on this man, ladies and gentlemen. You all know the true story. I'm not actually all that good at risk. I just get lucky. All right, green's down to six. Three cards, but he's in too many places still. Okay. White's one off that bonus. Green holds, goes up to 21. Holding four cards. Can I get this green kill? How do you get 19? If I win a 4v3, I can. Or if red feeds me like they're about to, hit the 3 off the 13. Oh, too bad. I was hoping that 13 was going to hit the 3. If I win a 4v3, I can kill green. That actually seems like the correct play at this stage in the game. Okay, white goes bad neighbor. White bot goes bad neighbor to red. White's still a slightly easier kill. What's the safest kill here? Is it green or is it red? I actually think it's or I think is it white. I think it's white bot now. Alright, help me out, purple. Don't block me. Help me kill white. That helps. That helps a lot. Oh, he goes bad neighbor. Oh, I love it. Okay. 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 I line it up like this. So the stack is pointed. Oh, I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. You are going to cry. Mm. 
do I have it? I think I do. Okay, kill the other bot. Now we're talking. Didn't even need my second Joker. Get out of here with the auto trading the Joker. Kill purple. Feels good. <laughs> Alright, so now we're in a three-player endgame. I have a joker. Don't think it serves me well to feed the kill to either of these guys. Can I kill orange? Don't think so. My guard. Really with an open single stack. Let's see what they do. Don't want to risk killing one and letting the other kill me. I was sitting on five cards in the entire board with a Joker backup. I bet you orange kills pearl or orange kills red and goes into the one v one with me. <laughs> Great. Unnecessary split but he can hook around off his 20. Maybe he doesn't see it. One, two, and down, right? This 20 actually goes around into this section. He's doing the split now that he doesn't have to do. Nine. Yes, he sees it. Good, good. He gets the kill. I'm in a 1v1 with orange. Dude, awesome first look at this map. I'm glad I got out of... Uh, out of the situation where purple was just aggressively targeting the entire game. Lucky, lucky, right? Those clutch jokers when you need them. All right. So I'm in a 1v1 with orange. I have the card advantage and we're equal on troops. I think I got them. Breaks all the bonuses. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Cool maps so far. Good game. Well played, sir. Yeah. Good luck. Back at ya. Hope you all enjoyed. Found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I stream on Twitch almost as often, defeating one novice, one expert, and one master. Hope you all enjoyed. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.